and I'm the author of How To Be More Hedgehog. Um, I want to start by saying how utterly thrilled I was to be shortlisted for this award, the Spark Book Awards. I've been shortlisted for awards before, I've been an author for quite a long time, but this is by far the best award because it's voted for by the readers and that of course is the way it should be. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Hedgehog and how I came to write it and then I'll read part of chapter one to give you a flavour of the story. So Hedgehog is about Lily and Lily has a stammer or it's sometimes called a stutter. Having a stammer means that you might struggle to speak fluently. You might get stuck on particular sounds, you might repeat syllables, you might struggle with a letter at the beginning of a word or you might have trouble getting a word out altogether. Now Lily's stammer causes her quite a lot of anxiety, especially if she has to speak in front of her class or in front of an audience in a shop when she has to ask for something in a shop or even on the phone. Um, and when a new teacher joins her school, Mr Daly, it also affects the way the other children in the class treat Lily and um, even her best friend Mia. So that becomes very difficult for her. Now, when I'm not writing, I also work as a drama teacher and I did teach a girl called Nisha that had a stammer. Now, Nisha was like brilliant and fantastic in every way. She was good at, um, she was kind and very bright and good at sport, very good at art. But she used to say to me, um, Miss Conway, when people look at me, all they see is my stammer. And it really, really got her down. So when she was in year six, I taught her for quite a few years because I was her drama teacher. And when she was in year six, I gave her a really big part, really big role in the end of year production because I really wanted her to have the opportunity to show what she was capable of. She was very, very good at drama. And then can you believe that was the year that COVID struck and the school closed and she never got to do her, her performance? And I was really gutted for her. And I think that's really the reason why I was inspired to write Hedgehog. So it was a kind of a way for me to put Nisha into the story, but it's Lily, and just to give her a chance to shine anyway. So that's when I started writing Hedgehog in lockdown. Um, so I'm going to read you a part of the book from chapter one, where Lily's teacher that she loves and trusts has left school suddenly. They've just come back from the Christmas holiday. And um, she's got a new teacher called Mr Daly, who wants to get to know the class and wants to know something about them. Now, unfortunately for Lily, D is one of her very tricky letters. And so things don't get off to a very good start. OK. OK, guys, let's start with the register, Mr Daly says. Give me a wave so I can see who you are and then tell me something interesting about yourself. A hobby, an activity you do out of school, the last book you read. He starts striding up and down in front of the board. Don't hold back, Sixty. The more unusual, the better. Surprise me. We don't have heaps of time, so one fact each, please. Let's keep it short and snappy. Bish bash bosh. Short and snappy? Literally my worst nightmare. Bish bash bosh? What does that even mean? Hands shoot up all over the place. Register order, Mr Daly laughs. And don't worry, you're all going to get a go. Mia is first on the register. She stands up when Mr Daly calls her name and gives a little wave. Here, Mr Daly, she says, I'm Mia, obviously. And I absolutely love drama. And the drama group I go to on Saturdays is putting on a production of Aladdin. Awesome, says Mr Daly. One of my all-time favourite shows. And he moves quickly on to Thomas. Here, Mr Daly, says Thomas, Thomas, jumping up. I'm the captain of the school football team, but unfortunately we haven't won a single match this year. That's because I'm the keeper, Patrick shouts out, and everyone cracks up. Thank you, um, Patrick, is it? And Patrick nods, grinning, as if he's pleased that Mr Daly knows his name already. It's getting closer to my turn. Shy Rosie goes next. I love drawing, she says, quiet as a muted mouse. And last year I won a national competition for young artists. Mr Daly says he can't wait to see her work and her face breaks into the brightest smile. Only two more until my go. Think, Lily, think. I need to work out what I'm going to say. I need a plan. Words beginning with L like Lily and love should be okay. Now I'm not worried about animals either. 
But why, why, why did Mr. Daly's name have to start with a D? Maybe I could just wave like Mia did and then tell him my fact. It's not as if he said we had to say his name first. Gina Hirsch is after Rosie. She says something about her new twin baby sisters. And then it's Patrick's actual go. Here, Mr. Daly, he says. I've got a joke instead of a fact. What did the ghost teacher say to the class? Mr. Daly shakes his head, smiling. What did the ghost teacher say to the class? Look at the board and I'll go through it again. It's a terrible joke, but everyone laughs, including Mr. Daly, which totally puts me off. Why couldn't Patrick just say a fact like everyone else? I push it out of my mind and focus on the plan. I'll be fine as long as I don't say his name. I'm moving straight on, Mr. Daly says, still laughing as he scans the room. Lily?